Who would have thought that oil would become the most powerful impetus for the development of wind energy in the 20th century? More precisely, the oil embargo imposed by the five OPEC Arab member states and Iran against the countries that supported Israel in the 1973 Yom Kippur War. Among them were the USA, Japan, Canada, and several other countries. The ensuing oil crisis forced the world to look at renewable energy sources, in particular wind energy in a new way. Two years after the start of the oil crisis in the United States, the first wind farm was launched, which was able to provide electricity to 4,000 homes. Fifteen years later, in 1990, 46 wind farms were already operating in the United States. Today, more than 1,500 wind turbines power 38 million homes across America. Despite the impressive successes of the Americans in this area, so far no one can compare with China neither in the number of wind energy facilities nor in the pace of their construction. Within 15 years, the Chinese have managed to build hundreds of wind farms practically from scratch, which now produce twice as much electricity as generated in the United States. Since 2009, the largest wind power complex in the world, Gansu, has been operating in China. 7,000 wind turbines are located in the north of the country along the lifeless but very windy Gobi Desert. Soon, their capacity is planned to be increased to 20 gigawatts, which will be almost two and a half times higher than the capacity of the largest nuclear power plant in the world in the Japanese city of Fukushima. However, not everything related to wind energy should be assessed with a plus sign. Despite the environmental friendliness of this method of generating electricity, the fields of wind turbines cause some concern among experts from various fields. In their arguments, they cite a significant level of mechanical and aerodynamic noise in the immediate vicinity of large installations, a threat to migratory birds and bats due to the movement of the blades, interference in the reception of radio signals, the difficulty of repairing large elements and even the impact on the climate due to the slowing down of air masses. All these disadvantages can be eliminated by using a new type of wind turbine that works without blades since they convert the kinetic energy of the wind directly into electricity, bypassing the stage of mechanical conversion. The first concept of a bladeless wind turbine was developed in 2013 by a research group at the Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands, in cooperation with the Mechanu Architectural Company. The development team has designed the UICON Electrostatic Wind Energy Converter, which has no moving mechanical parts. Due to the absence of blades, this design is devoid of the main disadvantages of classic wind turbines. It does not create noise, does not break, does not cast shadows, and does not threaten birds and bats. Visibly, Uicon resembles a large tennis racket with a short handle. Inside the frame is a grid with horizontal insulated tubes, each of which contains several electrodes. From a mesh tube, negative electrode. The system sprinkles positively charged water particles into the air. Falling into wind streams, the droplets are carried towards the positive mesh electrode which captures positive charges. This creates a potential difference, which in turn generates electricity. In this case, the amount of energy received depends on the number of water droplets, the charge of the droplets, the wind speed, and the strength of the electric field. The wind turbines of a new type really surpass classical wind turbines in parameters such as the absence of noise and moving elements. The only weak link in such a system is water sources. However, this problem can be easily solved by installing rainwater storage tanks near wind turbines. The idea of the Uicon wind turbine presented in 2013 quickly found continuation in the Netherlands. In 2015, a 174 meter wind wheel multifunctional complex in the form of two rings of glass and steel project was presented in Rotterdam. According to the architect's idea, the outer ring is rotating and consists of 40 roller coaster cabins, and the inner ring is the body of the building which can accommodate 72 apartments, a hotel with 160 rooms, a panoramic restaurant and a sky lobby. At the same time, the space inside the rings can act as a bladeless wind generator created using the Uicon technology. For the Netherlands, which is famous all over the world for its mills and strong architectural background, the Windwheel project is a landmark. This building has every chance to become not only a new recognizable symbol of Rotterdam, but also the most innovative windmill in the world. 
The wind generator located in the very center of the building will in no way disturb the peace of the residents and guests of the hotel. The Dutch wind turbine, like its prototype Uicon, does not need any moving parts to generate electricity. Instead, a combination of wind and water will be used, which are always abundant in rainy and windy Rotterdam. It is imperative that in search of new ways to use wind energy, researchers do not get stuck on one idea, but find completely different approaches. An innovative method of generating clean electricity developed by the Vortex Bladeless Spanish Company can be a worthy alternative to the Uicon project. A team of engineers offer the world's sky braiders turbines that don't need blades, tall masts, or strong winds. The device is a resonant wind turbine that causes vortex vibration. It may sound confusing, but in reality, it's not that complicated. The Sky Braiders turbine consists of an outer cylinder that is securely fixed only at the base. Under the action of air currents, the upper part of the cylinder freely sways from side to side like an antenna in the wind. At the same time, when the wind passes through the pillar, around it, according to the laws of aerodynamics, air vortices are formed. Circular vortex flows. As soon as their frequency is compared with the frequency of the cylinder, the installation begins to interact with the wind. A generator at the base of the cylinder captures these mechanical vibrations and converts them into electrical energy. The structure is built using carbon and fiberglass reinforced polymers, as well as the strong and lightweight materials used in usual wind turbine blades. Thanks to this, the structure remains stable against constant vibrations and does not deform. The mass geometry is designed to provide maximum performance at average wind speeds, and the compactness of such an installation allows you to install entire fields of wind generators at a minimum distance from each other, which is absolutely impossible in the case of classic wind turbines with blades. Moreover, sky braiders located opposite each other receive even more energy than single installations, as they use vortex flows from neighboring installations. Even though the prototype is designed for the production of small amounts of electricity for home use, the Vortex Bladeless Company plans to introduce an industrial type of sky braiders wind generators up to 140 meters in height, with a capacity of up to 1 megawatt. Over the past half century, wind power has made a rapid leap forward, catching up and already surpassing nuclear power. The success of China, Europe, and the United States in this industry shows that the global goal of moving to renewable energy sources is getting closer. In your opinion, will it be possible to minimize the impact of wind turbines on the environment? Will we be able to abandon blade systems in the foreseeable future in favor of innovative bladeless models? It seems that we are at the very beginning of this path. And for the start, we, like last time, apparently need one good push. We'll see. The wind of change is just around the corner.